Bound off day at Pumpkin Center by Mr. Cal Stewart, Edison Record. <laughs> well, sir, it was second to last February, and we was all shopping around Esri Hoskins' grocery store, and Cy Pettengill said, Esri, what's the meaning of this here Groundhog Day? And Esri said, Wild well, Silas, if a groundhog comes out today and sees his shatter, it goes back in the ground and stays six weeks longer, and that's a sign we're going to have six weeks more of winter weather. But if he don't see his shatter, he stays out, and that's a sign that winter's pretty nigh over. And Cy si said, well, Esri, I guess we'll have six weeks more of winter weather. I was coming past Jay Fisher's butcher shop, and he had the sausage hanging up, and the sun was shining on it. And Esri said, well, Silas, what has the sausage got to do with it? And Cy si said, well, that's groundhog, ain't it? <laughs> Well, Jim Lawson said, let's all go down to the timber patch and see if we can see a groundhog. While we went down there and sat on the fence and chawed the backer and whittled it, Jim says, I see one. He went in a hole right over there. And Jim got down on his hands and knees and went to poking in the hole. And then he let a war hoop out of him and started to running, and he never stopped till he got down to the creek and jumped right far in the middle of it. When we got down there, all we could see of Jim was his ears and nose is sticking out. And as we said, Jim... What's the matter on you? Have you gone clean crazy? And Jim said, Ezra, that wasn't no groundhog. It was a skunk. <laughs> well, we got Jim out, buried his clothes, got him some new ones, and locked him up in the barn, fed him his meals on the end of a pole. Jim used to get dollar a Sunday for singing in the choir down to the Baptist church, and now they're giving him a dollar a Sunday to stay away. <laughs>